So this week I'm filming a what I eat in a week here in Taipei. I'm just gonna be sharing like some of my tips about how I eat healthy in Taipei. How do I eat on a budget? Like not things that are not too expensive because I feel like Taipei is that kind of city where you can either eat really cheap or eat quite expensive. I will say though that I am vegetarian if you didn't know. So everything that I'm gonna be eating this week will not be meat. I'm about to go and meet up with Reuven and Marie and we're grabbing some brunch for the day. And then afterwards we're meeting up with Bruna and Vito. So it should be fun, but I'm gonna head out now because you know the drill, I'm gonna be late if I don't go now. So let's go. As a vegetarian, sometimes I only have one option when I go to a restaurant. Today's meal was actually a bit more expensive than I was expecting because we originally wanted to go to this one brunch place, but it was full. It was still good though, and I really liked the variety that came with my meal. Bye vlog. <laughs> My friends and I went on a little hiking trip and I ended up getting a bubble tea. Is that where we're going tonight? To rough? I mean, no. <laughs> it's my favorite place though. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know? That's new. Yeah, it's our favorite place. Me and Brenna love it. Yeah. We go every night. Oh, wow. Exactly. <laughs> why, why don't you invite me? You're at core. That's true. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get in all your daily nutrients and vitamins. So the one tip that I've heard from nutritionists is to actually add to your meals instead of subtracting. So adding vegetables, adding protein. I already felt like I had a lot of sugar today from the bubble tea I had earlier, so I just wanted to split one. So I split one with my friend Marie, and that was enough for me. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. It's still the weekend. I'm hanging with my boyfriend today, so we'll see what we eat. But generally, since I'm always eating out so much, I do try to just be a bit more mindful of like what I choose at the restaurants. I just try to get like a good variety of things, you know what I mean? Today I'm gonna head to Starbucks first and grab some matcha lattes because we're going up to the mountains. Let's go. I didn't have time to pick up a full breakfast, so I just got some fruit. I picked up some multi-grain bread, which is quite hard to find in Taiwan. And yeah, it was just something simple and light to eat to get me fueled for the day. There were not a lot of restaurants, so we decided to hit up the 7-Eleven, and I wasn't that hungry, and I don't know why. I really wanted a chocolate bar. I act Oh, sorry, not a chocolate bar, a popsicle. I actually think it's because I was on my period. You know that feeling when you eat too much sugary stuff and then you really need to eat something savory? That is why I bought this egg because that's how I felt after eating that ice cream. To be honest, I don't really like eating ice cream, but I just felt like eating it right now. But now I don't feel like eating ice cream anymore. the day it's actually the end of the weekend i had a pretty fun weekend hung with my friends hung with my boyfriend and we ate a lot of different kinds of food i definitely wouldn't say the food i ate was like super healthy or anything like that like it wasn't unhealthiest i mean some of it was i guess but you know i was trying my best considering you know i'm out while i'm eating out i'm with friends and like you don't you don't always get to decide what the group is going to eat for the next couple of days, I think the more my meals will be solo, so you can kind of see how I eat on my own. Good night. Morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to go to a coffee shop, do some work, some editing, grab some breakfast, and then head off to teach some English today. So that is the plan.
There is actually a lot of very cheap options in Taipei. You just have to put a little bit of effort into finding those places that are usually near the area that you live or that you work in. I was rushing a bit this morning, so I only had time to pick up a baked potato from 7-Eleven, and I also picked up this random cereal bar. I got my hair washed and straightened for some passport photos that I was taking later on in the day. This was my first time coming to this studio, but one thing I really like about Taiwan is that they have a lot of photo studios that really try to help you make you feel and look good inside your ID or passport photo that you need to take. So yeah, I really like the time that they spend with you. It is a little bit more expensive, but to me it's just more worth it since I know these photos are gonna just be, you know, on my cards for a longer period of time. It's quite sunny outside. I just took my passport photos and now I'm having a quick little lunch before I catch up with a friend. So yeah, I just like randomly passed by this place called Salad Den and they had like so many vegetarian, I think the whole place is vegetarian actually, which is awesome for me and there was a lot of healthy stuff. So yeah, and I got takeout. The rice is good. My goodness, I actually miss eating beets so much. I used to eat so much beets in Canada. Like not used to seeing myself with straight hair because I almost never straighten my hair. Lately, when I'm eating alone, I tend to go to these vegetarian buffets and they have so much variety. I love going to them and they're not that expensive either. I think finding healthy carbs is probably one of the hardest things for me to do while living in Taipei. I actually do really miss cooking at home, but I just don't feel like it's super plausible for me right now just because of my temporary living situation. And also I don't have any cooking, you know, things with me like pots or pans or plates. So my goal lately has been just to find healthier alternatives, which has taken a bit of searching for sure. I actually didn't film the last two days of the week, so instead I included two vlogging days that I randomly filmed this past month, so I hope you enjoy. And so I thought it'd be fun to bring my friends to this Starbucks and bring you guys along and we can just rate this cafe together and just be like super dramatic together. I don't know, I just thought that'd be a fun activity to do on like a random Saturday here in Taipei when it's like kind of gloomy and rainy today. So that is the activity of the day today. So the Starbucks is actually inside this building. It's actually in a hotel. I just biked here and then I picked up some kiwi on the way because I was like, mm, I really want some fruit, you know? Gotta get my daily vitamin C as a vegetarian. Anyways, the Starbucks. Okay, we're gonna go inside now. Hopefully it's not too busy because it's gonna be hard to get a seat for, let me think, how many people? One, two, six, six of us? And I'll give it a go. Starbucks, mermaid lady. Taiwan has like very different things, like strawberry pie, pear, matcha. What? Like, what even does that even mean? This ooh. Hi, Bug. Hello. We're here. My friends have arrived. Some of them have arrived. Do you know how Starbucks became famous? No. Because it was the first coffee shops that offered free Wi-Fi. No way! Really? Interesting. You know so many facts. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go get my stuff. I'll be back. Hi! That tastes really good. I'm getting it. <laughs> Okay, let's be more natural. So basically, tastes like really good. Okay, let me talk about this drink, okay? First, this is strawberry matcha latte. There's no caffeine. Wait, there's no caffeine? No. Why? The girl. Oh, so there is caffeine. Okay. 
they're like way smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually tastes more like strawberry than matcha. Mm. Wow, so good. So what I ordered is the cheese and beef croissant. Also the matcha strawberry, um, whatever, latte or whatever. But it doesn't taste like strawberry, at, like matcha at all. It's like so green and it just tastes like strawberry. It's just such a disappointment. Mm, for the croissant, I would give like an eight. I mean, it's not croissant, you know, it's just croissant. That's how it's pronounced, okay? So I got me a nice little cappuccino with a heart. That's very, very how her. I think that's the best cappuccino I've ever had in my life, yeah. Really. Mm, it tastes like very average. I think I got some lip skin on here, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry for the lip skin. <laughs> What's that feeling you go when you go to a movie and everyone says it's really good, and then like you watch the movie, <laughs> and it's actually not that good. It's like a milk. Really? <laughs> Can I wanna... Oh yeah, look cute. I'm gonna give like the Kosas lip glosses a try. I haven't tried these yet. Which one do you think I think I should try? This one? Alright. Okay, I feel like I'm not putting anything on my lip. But it's definitely like your lip color. Yeah, it's like my exact lip color. But it's kinda nice because it's like glossy. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe try the other one. Yeah, maybe I should put the other one. Oh, wow. And oh, pinky. It's quite pigmented. Yeah. Oh, it was like so pink. My lips are like strawberries now. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> is the one that introduced me to these. She got me. Is it hot? No. Okay. Whoa. My hair is like very voluminous today. It's like a lion's mane. I was going on a double date today, but then the other couple had to cancel for some personal reasons. So I'm going on a date date today. And we're going to the strawberry farm, which is really fun and exciting. And we're going to pick some strawberries. The weather is like not the best outside right now, but that's okay, you know, because I mean like what else are you going to do on like a cold gloomy day besides like pick strawberries, you know? So yeah, it's basically like strawberry village in like the mountains. There's some stars or something. This strawberry looks a little interesting. These are really cute. Oh my god, this is so adorable. This is like very, very cute and fun. Oh my god, the little baby one. I'm gonna take the babies. With a strawberry expert herself. Yeah. See, these ones are actually quite nice and they look very juicy. I am considering getting both of them. I feel bad if I just take one because I feel like the strawberry is lonely. Very considerate. Right? Oh, see, right now when you pick one off, the other one's lonely. Don't you feel like that when you pick strawberries? Makes sense. Yeah, right? Makes, makes perfect sense. Right? What about, the, what about these green ones here? Don't fancy uh, them? They don't feel lonely because they are together. Right. We're still looking for the cutest, smallest strawberry that we can find. I kind of want one, you know? very round <laughs> Cute and delicate, very cute. Oh. Oh. Is that the one? Is that the one? So maybe not the one, but we're gonna take it. Me, this is like a prime strawberry. Oh, that right is here. a beautiful strawberry. Right? I wish. How did I not see that? I know, right? This is amazing. This is like oh. candy. This looks fake, actually. Oh, that's... It kind of makes me feel weird looking at it, so let's not look at it. <laughs> These are the strawberries that I have right now. 
I have like all tiny ones and you like chose some bigger ones. Or you chose some different sizes. Yeah, I've got a mixture. So what's the secret, Annie? How do you pick out the best ones? The secret to choosing the best ones is you want to go for the small juicy ones. Because sometimes the bigger ones, you think that they taste better, but really they just have a lot of water weight. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> sometimes you have to consider the strawberries that look a little bit deformed. Because you know that people are not going to choose them. So no. if no one chooses them, they're going to feel left out. Yeah, non discrimination. <laughs> but I got some really interesting shaped ones. Like, this looks like a cherry tomato. All right, let's go buy them. And this is the end of what I eat in a week in Taipei. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you live in Taipei or you ever are planning on coming to visit, make sure you try lots of food. <laughs>